I made my first doll when I was, as far as I can remember, eight or nine years old, and uh, made some after that. And then my grandmother gave me a doll for which I made a wardrobe. It's in that box there. If you, you know, if, I don't know whether you want me to pull it out and show you. But anyway, that's part of it. So I've really always loved dolls. I was coming back from doing costumes for a play, and I, I just had this thought. Well, why don't I make a doll? that looked like Jenny, who was then two, as she would have a hundred years ago. And she would be dressed, you know, a la 1867. And she would possibly have knitting in her hand and she would wear maybe rustic clothing and she would have braids and it would be a soft doll, not China, but soft, uh, rag doll, stuffed doll. And that's how it started. It, the idea was to, to try to make the dresses for the children, for the doll, out of fabric that they had a dress made out of or something like that. So I did that with Jenny. So I had made her a smock dress and I had fabric left to make a matching dress for the doll. And I, I maintained completely the idea of keep of no duplicates. So there were never any duplicates oh, in, so in all of the 1,592. And even if I was asked to make twin dolls, I would make something not the same. How much time um, making? It was all done in between getting three children off to school and walking the two dogs and making marmalade and bread and and doing everything else that I had to. So I can't. I never sat down and made a doll mm -hmm. in eight to ten hours. Oh, but okay. that's probably approximately what it took. Mm -hmm. And at one point, I was making six dolls a week for three weeks, and then I would stop it and clean the house and do what had to be done. It was nuts. I was driven and it was nuts, but the kids survived and they're sane and <laughs> but that's how that's how crafts people work I think a lot of the time. It's in spite of everything else. So oh. <laughs> But in eighty three I got a craft council grant to go and study it was in a girls' school actually, but they, they had what was called the American School of Needlework which existed, started in the Valentine Museum in Virginia. But I was able to go there for two of the years and study period undergarments and actual garments and it was just heaven on earth and slideshows and guest lecturers and uh, so that was two times. Once I got a travel grant from the Manitoba Crafts Council and once I got a grant from the Craft Guild to help me. It was you know, I had to go by myself on the plane and there were about a hundred people there and I didn't know anybody. But it was it was so wonderful to see these things. Oh golly. So there was me from the prairies. 